Welcome back you to another video here on the channel. We're back in the How to Tame series where I'll be showing you how to tame every creature in Ark. Check out the playlist link down below. Today's episode we're going to be looking at the Morellatops, which is a beast. The Morellatops is an early game dino that you could tame when on Scorched Earth or Ragnarok for the desert biomes because that guy carries all the water that you need. What you'll be needing for this tame is a trap like this. It is a 2x2 foundations with the door hinges around the edge and a ramp for them to run up now the thing with morella tops is we're going to be showing you two ways today you're going to have morella tops that are in groups and morella tops that are on their own if the morella tops is in a group of one or more so two basically if you attack one morella tops then they will all chase you if a morella tops is on its own and you attack that morella tops it will flee all of them are passive until you attack them and then it will either flee or attack you if it's in a group. So this is why we're going to show you two methods today. I'd recommend using a crossbow for this, but if you're in super early game, you could also use the boomerang, which was introduced with Scorched Earth. And um, it's a good addition to knocking creatures out that are low levels. So Morale Tops is super early. You get the saddle at level 11 on all maps, which is pretty awesome. And these are two Morale Tops right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot one, which will aggro it. And you preferably you want to try and set up this trap in front of the one. Because uh, they'll both run after you. So we're going to shoot this guy, which will aggro both of them. That guy's stuck, luckily. And then you just run it into the trap. Run out the back. And there you go. You got yourself a trap Morella Tops. No, you don't. It got... Hey, so it shouldn't have got out of that. But if yours does get out, like mine, just double up. Double up around all edges. And apart from the front one. And you should be fine. I mean, I don't know how that guy got out. It should enough. Okay, now we've added more to the edges. We're going to try again. It should just turn around and attack us again. Because it's mate still here. And it should go into the trap and you just step out like that. And there we go. This guy is trapped in there. Now, normally you'd have both of them chasing after you. So you'd have to deal with that one. Luckily, this guy got stuck for us. So you either leave that guy in and you run off with this guy chasing you. Until they de and come back and take it out. Or you just uh, kill this one. Which we're going to cheat and kill. Like that. And this guy's left. Then while this guy's in the trap, obviously, you just take it out with either a crossbow or a boomerang or whatever you want. That's method one. And probably... The harder method of the two, because uh, you've got to separate them, get it in the trap, and these turn radius is horrible. The second method, which I will show you over here, is just chasing down a Morella Tops, which you probably would want to do in early game. Morella Tops aren't that fast, so you could shoot this guy or hit it with a boomerang, and you could knock it out in a few tranks, depending on the level, um, especially for early game. If it's near trees, like it is now, perfect, it will get stuck, just like it has. So we're going to shoot this guy, and when it's on their own, they will flee, as you can see. It's decided that it doesn't want to be friends with me. And it's trying to run away but getting stuck on everything. You're just going to chase it down and shoot it with this. Um, obviously, it can outrun you while you're reloading. So that's why I also recommend using the boomerang. Because you can run while throwing the boomerang at it. Which, it's not too difficult. If it reaches. And you're just going to keep going to it until it knocks out. It won't take too long. But I'm just going to keep using this because it's stuck in the water now. There we go. And it's down. In the water, unfortunately, next to Megalodons. Just, just my luck. And Piranhas. How great. So once your Morella Tops is locked out, you want to give this guy simple kibble if you want a perfect tame. Crops are second best, medjool berries and berries like most herbivores in the game. Um, early game, obviously give it berries and medjool berries if you can. Um, today I'll be using simple kibble just because I can. And then I'll be showing you all the abilities that this guy has. So once your Morella Tops is tamed, as you can see you've got a water sign above the name which is 0 to 750. This is one of its abilities. So obviously this d dino was designed to help you survive Scorched Earth in the desert where there is hardly any water and life's a pain. So if you drag this guy in near water, it should start filling up the meter. As you can see, there we go. 100. So that will start filling up next to water and you could go and hold E on there and drink the water which will obviously help you out. Or you can fill your canteens or your water tank in your inventory. Um, so there are the few options that this guy can do which is one of its abilities. The next ability that it's got is to collect berries. It can collect berries, thatch and wood. So just left click into the berry field and as you can see you get a ton of berries you get a lot of seeds as well and also if you hit the trees with the left click you get thatch if you go with the right click you'll collect berries but more wood than thatch which is very good to know these are the only two attacks that it has it will have the left click which is like that and the right click which is a stomp um, and that's pretty much it it's not the fastest it doesn't swim very fast but its ability is to help you with water which is amazing and also it can collect all them berries it can also collect cactus at a huge rate it's one of the best cactus collectors so definitely get one of these if you're in the scorched earth or ragnarok but deserts and you need something with a bit of water early game 
this is for you. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like button, subscribe to become the human being, and I'll see you in the next episode of Fantastic Day. Peace.